portion of what you would consider to be the Bahamian chain. Uh, the storm is located at 21.8 north, 70.4 west, max 140 miles per hour, moving toward the west-northwest at 15. Francis is a Category 4 hurricane. While fluctuations in intensity are expected during the next 24 hours, it still could intensify a little bit more as it moves through the uh, Turks and Caicos Islands as well as through the Bahamas. The forecast, 8 a.m. Saturday, has it on very near shore along the east coast of Florida. 8 a.m. Sunday is a Category 1 hurricane over the central portion of the peninsula and 8 a.m. Monday as a, a weakened tropical depression. Here's a close-up of that. 8 a.m. Saturday, just to the south of Melbourne. 8 a.m. Sunday as a Category 1 hurricane south of Gainesville and 8 a.m. Monday in the southwestern corner of Georgia. What does this mean for Winfield? And there is a lot of error in all of this. Well, the position that, that you can see where it is, number four, or category four at landfall, given the current forecast path at 8 a.m. Saturday, what I've done is had the computer draw in the tropical storm force wind field. That yellow shaded area indicates tropical storm winds between 40 and 73 miles per hour will be taking place not only along Florida's east coast, but spread inland into Polk, Hardy, DeSoto counties, as well as Highlands, and all of that will move north and westward as the system moves north and westward. What's this mean for you and me? Well, as a 140 mile an hour hurricane making landfall on Florida's east coast, this is the way the winds decay. Right along the coast, 125 plus. The next band inland, the lighter red, 110 to 125. Uh, the uh, third band end is 95 to 110. And most of what would be happening along the west coast of Florida, where we live, would range between 75 and 95 with Hillsborough and Polk, uh, the Hardy and uh, DeSoto counties in the 95 to 110. That's assuming that the storm continues to move forward at about 15 to 18 miles per hour. If the storm slows down, the threat for heavy rain increases, but the winds decrease. These are wind decay fields from the National Hurricane Center. This is how much the wind decays if the storm slows down and only it approaches us at about nine miles an hour. Still, the really strong winds on Florida's east coast, but the winds over Polk, Hardy, and DeSoto and Charlotte counties decrease to the 75 to 95 degree, uh, to mile per hour range and much of the metropolitan area. And here, they've had winds 60, 70 miles an hour.